hello everyone and welcome back. I got another one of these batteries sent to me and uh, I promised to do a video on it. They wanted a video where I was do using like power tools, uh, doing projects around the farmhouse and stuff. And I've just been busy cutting wood and everything and haven't had a chance to do that. And for me to do a video um, on something like this, it has to be something that I'm, I can use it and really get into it. Otherwise, I feel like I'm doing an unboxing video, which I'm horrible at. So I decided I'm up here at the tent right now. I've been up here for yesterday and today. I go home tomorrow. And we did deer stands. Zach came up today. My dad's been up here. I uh, spent a lot of time with him, a lot of time with Zach. Uh, sighted in our rifles, just everything. And anyway, I brought this up here because for me, you know, I, I don't like to talk about politics, current events, anything much on the channels, either of them. I like to keep that out. It's just like you see enough of it everywhere you turn. You know, you go online, there it is. Turn on the TV, there it is. But I, I do think that there's a lot of stuff that's happening in the world right now that to me is like, like right in our face, like I can't believe that they just did that or <laughs> they just passed that law or I can't believe that we're hearing about this when I don't want to hear about this. Nobody wants to hear about this, that kind of stuff. And I just think that things are just going a little bit crazy. And I think that it is important for people to have something like this, you know, have one of these at their house. I kind of like this one here. Um, it's it's not as heavy as the other ones. This is in Elec Hive 2200, and it's a portable power station, but it only weighs about 40 pounds. That's what I think was kind of the neat thing about this one. And instead of doing the, you know, the power tools and stuff, which I might do when I get home, it came with solar panels. I wanted to get it plugged into to solar, and I'll still get that done. But right now, it's been cloudy and rainy today. It's just been crappy, and you know, you you can't charge them when there's no sun. And there's other ways to charge it. You've got you know, a plug-in charger and car charger thing. And you know, it comes with all of it. Right here is the plug it in. And I did plug this in and it was, I don't know, over halfway full, but I plugged it in to make sure it was charged up when I was at home. And you can see it's got 2,250 watt hours. It charges to 90%. There's a button in the back I can click where it'll only charge to 80%. And I haven't looked into that. To me, it either works or it doesn't work. And I imagine that if you do it to 80%, you would get more lifetime charges over it. I have no clue. So let's plug it into the tent and just see how it runs it. To me, see, this is an interesting video, something I'm worth doing much more than if I plug my circular saw into it and see it which I can do, but uh, this is more interesting to me. But since I have not even looked at the booklet, let's see what's in the box. I got the Elec Hive 2200, the user manual, a 240 watt power supply, a 12 volt, volt outlet adapter, a car outlet charging cable, and then I also got two 100 watt solar panels with this, and the solar panels, of course, have the cable, you know, that would plug into this for charging it. So I did go ahead and read, you know, the features on here, and I'm not going to read all these off. It looks to me like it has every type of plug-in port, whatever, minus 220 known to mankind, you know. <laughs> So, I'm going to unplug the tent, which I plug right here. I wonder if I have to turn on. Hold on, i got to get the book. Alright, so I just looked at the book, and I do have to turn on. This is the DC power button, this is the AC. don't know why they do that. They all do that. And it make, I wonder why, because we, we usually, you know, like if you turn it on then you think you would just plug it in and everything would work, but no, you've got to turn on, like this one is my... Oh, I see. All right, everything's going to go dark for a minute, and we're going to plug this in. Mm -hmm. 
So right now the tent is pulling. It's going down. It started real high, but I suppose that's because everything surged. 292 watts. 291, 88. So now it will run the tent for eight hours. I shut those lights off, we're at 180. I wonder if I turn the fan on, hold on. That fan actually takes quite a bit. Let's see what happens if I turn on the air conditioner. <laughs> Let's see, we'll put it on high cool. I thought the air conditioner would take more. I'm going to find something and put it in the microwave. Hold on. Okay. Ooh, look at that thing dry, huh? Cook your stuff on the wood stove. Save yourself some t battery power. I think that the refrigerator is running right now. I'm going to go turn it up as high as it will go. Yeah, it is. It's on. Even with the refrigerator going and a few lights, you can still run this thing. I mean, I could turn on another light right now. It's going to run it for 8.5 hours. Uh, that's pretty good. This is how it usually is when I'm here at night. Just sitting here. I've got the two lights up on top going. I've got the one over the stove going. And that's it. I don't have any other lights on. And I got the bedroom is shut off too. No fans going. Oh yeah, the outside, the outhouse lights are on 272 watts I don't know that those lights out there are all uh, LED or not let me unplug the outhouse and see we really can't watch the watt hours on the right because we're using watt hours right now we have to watch the watts we're using on the left and right now we're pulling 273 let's see what the outhouse pulls actually that outhouse pulls a lot of watts So now we're going to turn everything on. So with everything going, we're pulling about 433, 432 watts, and refrigerator's still on. You know, we don't have the microwave on. Oh, I didn't turn on the TV. But all the lights are on. Outside lights, front and back. Uh, outhouse is on. The outhouse, I think I have three lights above that mirror. I should really switch them out to LEDs because I was surprised that it pulled that much. That's what's kind of fun about those batteries too. You can see exactly how much everything uses and what you should be turning off. Let's turn that TV on and check that out. Because we're at 433. Hopefully that fridge will stay on. So, 
It was at 90%, we're at 83% right now with everything on, TV and everything, 4.2 hours until it would be drained. But when are you having everything on? Let's uh, switch this over. your charging points or er, ports are in the back. This is a 1250 watt, 240 watt. Yeah, this was charging, discharge. I have it set over on 100%. And this is auto sleep, which I don't know what that means, but I have it off and that's just how it came. Another thing I like with this uh, Zero Breeze Elect Hive is the fact that it came with a bag. <laughs> I can't tell you how it just sucks to get one of them and it doesn't have a bag to put your stuff in. What do you do with it? You know, you got all these different wires, especially when you start running the solar panels and you've got that wire too. Um, how are you supposed to transport it? You've got this nice battery unit that you can carry and then you've got all this other stuff under your arm. So I'm glad that it comes with a bag. I do like this unit though because it's light, you know, it's only 40 pounds, so, you know, it's easy enough to just grab with one hand and go. Some of those batteries, you know, that have about, you know, pretty close to the same amount of, of wattage or watt hours or whatever are considerably heavier than this when you consider percentage wise, you get up to 52 or 53 pounds, 40 pounds isn't much, you get into the 50s, that gets quite heavy. I believe me, I have to carry it from like the workshop to the house and stuff and, uh, this one was quite easy bringing it from there to my truck. Been messaging with Melissa tonight. I'll see her tomorrow. I gotta leave early in the morning tomorrow because we're cooking a turkey. I'm cooking a turkey, but we're gonna do it in the roaster, in a uh, oven bag, and then flipped upside down so the breast is down. And we're gonna try that, so I'm excited. So I'm gonna be leaving early in the morning. I think I'm going to run out because I have those solar panels in my truck. Let me bring just one of them in. I haven't even opened the box yet. And let's look at what their solar panels look like. Because they're 100 watt. And I have two of them. Let me go grab one of them. So we've got the user manual. Let's see what this looks like. I do like this right here. It just velcros up there, it just pulls down. I've got other solar, solar panels, but you can't, uh, there's nothing to hold them up. That I think is pretty cool, actually. And instead of having its own bag, it's kind of covered in a bag. Very nice. Easy to uh, hold on to. Oh, and this has its own bag with oh that's pretty cool it's got its own bag this is where the solar hookup is pretty nice design on the solar panels and yeah, like i said i have two of them lightweight
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I think I'm going to end this one right now. I don't think I have to run power tools through it or anything. Uh, videos are much more fun with, for me if I get to do them doing something that I want to do. And this was way exciting being able to run the tent off of it. I think it's important to have one of these. I really do, and you guys should consider it. This is a nice lightweight unit. You know, to compared to some, we got to see what I do with the tent. It ran run it real nice. We didn't get to do the solar panels because there's no sun out there right now, but yeah, everybody knows how they're going to work. You're gonna, I, may, I might do another video on that to show the solar panels. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, Zero Breeze, Elect Hive. I like it. I will put the links that they sent me in the description. I will see you guys on the next video.